Welcome to day 174 of our Big Thought Journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. And, you know, today's a day where we're going to see the transfers and the burning ability of NFTs come, and we should see the derived keys released this afternoon as well. So I think people are getting excited. There's a, a little other, there's some other news that we kind of discovered on GitHub yesterday, last night, that... You know, I don't, I don't know how, how much we can read into it, but it looks like the referral program could be quite lucrative. Yes. Yeah, so Nigel's first, I first saw the post from Nigel's and he posted the screenshot from the GitHub where Red Party Hat was showing off the panel, the admin panel for the uh, referral program. And in what, what we already knew is that the, the administrator is going to be able to set the amount for the referral, create a referral link for each user, and also put a limit on the number of referrals for that amount. So what they put, what Red Party had posted was a screenshot of this, and they had $50 per referral for the first five referrals that the user that the user gets, and then $10 per referral, no limit. So we don't know if these numbers are going to be what it rolls out as it would be pretty amazing if it was from a from a referrer standpoint and i don't really know why red party hat would post numbers that they weren't going to use but we don't know we don't know it could still be five or ten dollars we don't know but in in a way it kind of makes sense so if they give five dollars per re fifty dollars per referral for the first five referrals Maybe they could set this only on accounts ha who have been active for 50 days or something, just to ensure that it's kind of more legitimate accounts that aren't just signing up to kind of game the referral system. Five, five, the first five at $50. I, I think that's actually, it's a huge amount of money, but it's not going to break them because if somebody does start referring a ton of other users, it's eventually going to go down to 10. So I, I don't know. What do you think, Ed? Yeah, I, I mean, if they can prevent the gamification of it, I think using Jumio, though, I think they should be able to do that quite well. I think it's a great way to, you know, bring more people onto the platform. You got to figure this is going to be part of their marketing budget. We know they have a ton of money that they raised from the venture capitalists. I think it was like $180 million you made a post earlier about. So, I mean, you know, if you do give somebody... Uh, five times fifty dollars, which is two hundred fifty dollars, is not going to break the bank if you have one hundred eighty million. But um, yeah, like like if Jumia is working and it's like really preventing bots from signing up and verifying, then I see. I think this. I think fifty dollars for the first five referrals is awesome, and then you know ten dollars for every referral there after would equally be just as good because you know like some some people are going to have huge social media following that, and they're going to be able to get maybe a hundred, a hundred uh, referrals. And you get a hundred referrals at $250 plus, you know, 95 times 10, another $950. So, I mean, yeah. you can make I, a lot of money. I mean, I, I want to kind of tamp down expectations because we don't know if it's $50. Um, but like you said, it, it would kind of make sense. And the average person probably knows five people they could onboard if they wanted to. So the average person could probably make two hundred and fifty dollars if it is set at fifty. But yeah, and, and, and then that, well, and then that two hundred fifty dollars. What's the average person going to do with that two hundred fifty dollars after they make it? Are they going to just hold it in cloud? Are they going to buy creator coins? Are they going to buy NFTs? Are they going to you know they're probably going to spread that wealth or that money around on BitCloud, which will in turn stimulate the BitCloud economy. You know, well they they might actually they might actually use that money to buy the creator coin of the people they refer to get them even more excited. So I, I think it, it would be an awesome idea, but at the same time, $50 is a lot. And, and maybe they don't want to give away quite that much. Maybe they can use the money in other ways that they think might be more effective, but we'll see. But, but I mean, like you look at it, how else do you spend the money on acquisition? Do you, does Diamond Hands go out and place massive amount of Facebook ads to bring people in? How much, how much money is he going to be spending per user acquisition that way? You know, if you incentivize, if you incentivize referrals and pay a good amount per referral, 
individuals on big cloud are going to go start placing Facebook ads to onboard people. If you know, you're going to get $50. If you refer somebody you, you might spend, you know, you might spend a decent amount on Facebook ads to try and get that money. And it, you know, I, I think it's, I think it's a great idea if they can, if they can manage to do it that way, because referral programs have in the past have shown to be very, very positive in terms of user acquisition for other programs as well. Yeah. And I, I really don't see, like you said, I don't really see how you can spend that kind of money, 180 million or whatever on to, to, to push this platform forward any better way than through referrals. The only thing is you don't want to be blowing $50 per referral on people that are going to come make one post and then disappear. That, that would be a shame. So well, make, well, let's make sure, let's make sure that the new UI, the new front ends all in place and that things are working like a well-oiled machine before then, I think. Well, I, I mean, there are ways to spend $180 million. I mean, you could say, let's have a Super Bowl TV ad, you know, like how many millions is that going to cost? You know, like, I, I mean, there are ways of spending it, but I don't, like you said, I don't know if, if there are better ways dollar for dollar to spend it other than a referral program. You know, I, I think you really, I mean, a referral program guarantees you're getting that user acquisition for every dollar you spend. Or yeah, and there's every $10 verified. you spend. And they'd be verified users too, which is, which is awesome. I mean, yeah, you could go out and spend 4 million on a Super Bowl ad bring in maybe a hundred thousand people probably would be bringing like 15,000 people and you just wasted 4 million on 15,000 people. So, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it, and I, I mean, from a marketing standpoint, there's a lot more to a Super Bowl TV ad than um, a referral program can give you. It's going to give you more name recognition. Yeah. It's going to put you in front of the world, you know, and people are going to recognize that name rather than a referral program where, you know, it's just kind of a word of mouth ability of spreading the, spreading the platform. And the Super Bowl is still what, like, like six months away. Yeah, and I don't know. Like that was just an example I threw out. There's no indication whatsoever that <laughs> the big cloud's going to be buying a Super Bowl ad. So I mean, don't take that. I'm just well, throwing an example out there. Well, and the, we do have rumors that they're going to use Earn.com through Coinbase uh, to incentivize people who sign up. So that's one way they're going to be spending some money, I assume. Um, it, I, but but other than that, I, I mean, they can market pay for their own marketing or they can turn it over to the user base and have them basically market it for the referral fee. And I think that makes more sense because you have an army of marketers and, and there's going to be a lot of creative ideas and competition among the marketers, which might drive things even, even, even further. Yeah, well, and, and like you said, like the earn, the earn mechanism, uh, using earn to go on board, to acquire new users. If you combine that with a referral program, you're going to get these people signing up, learning about BitCloud and Coinbase, which Coinbase runs on our current. They're going to sign up there. They're going to keep people who are into crypto. Probably a lot of people have large followings on social media, and then they use their referral program to earn even more money and bring even more people. And so, you know, it's, it's kind of like this exponential growth will hopefully be able to see once it, all this is kicked into high gear. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually really confident I know the last couple of months have been kind of dull and boring and not much happening. The, the user retention rates slid. The number of daily actives have slid down. I think we're at only like two or 3,000 right now. But yeah. I'm really, really optimistic that this, the referral program combined with the new UI and combined with possibly a Coinbase listing, other exchange listings, I, I think it's going to be huge. And, and uh, the, what I want to point out is that this is like a relaunch. This is like the official launch that's coming up. Everything before this has only been an alpha. And what they did in this alpha is acquire a couple thousand pretty active users who now are pro professionals at this platform. They know exactly what's going on. And that's going to act as a base to kind of help all this, all these new waves of creators come on board. And I, I think that's what's so special about this is that even if that first launch was kind of a rushed mistake and maybe it, it grew too fast, that initial base of people who have stuck around for the last six months and some that have come more recently are going to act as a really big springboard for those who come on now. Yeah. And plus we have knowledge, you know, everybody who's been here knows how the platform works. We're going to be able to help others 
on board. We're going to help others with questions. I think it's going to be a great starter community for those who are start coming on it. It's like a launch, but we already have a community that's been formed and a community that's that has the information that these people coming on are going to need. I, so one other thing I know you want to mention, give a shout out today. Yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to Clay Oglesby. Uh, we actually did a utility NFT and Clay was a winner of that utility NFT. Um, we're going to do a, we're going to make a long post for him. Uh, it was meant to put a bio, but I think he wants to kind of promote some other really cool projects he's working on. So check out Clay Oglesby. Uh, we'll tag him in the, in the post below also. Um, he's, he's, he's doing awesome, awesome things. On I love his yeah. NFTs. You got to check out his NFTs if you haven't already. I, I think he's pretty well known with his various NFTs, but if you haven't checked out his account, it's definitely a well worth check out. Yeah, Clay is a Clay. Clay is a front end designer. He he does really good graphics for websites. Um, but he's also working on NFTs, and he's a young guy. He's really he's really nice. He's really kind. He's really compassionate about the platform. And uh, we've known him for for I don't even I I'd say probably four or five months now. He's all over the place on BitCloud, on Clubhouse, on Discord. He's everywhere. Yeah, for sure. I also want to, um, we have an announcement we're making later today about our NFT platform, our NFT node. We're working with M. Van Halen and his two brothers to create an NFT node. It's going to, you know, like there's already two really good NFT nodes out there, Hologram and Supernovas. We have something else in mind. It's, it's going to have some similarities, but it's also going to have some differences. And we have some really cool ideas of what, how we're going to implement, implement this platform. It's going to have a lot of stats and you're going to get more transparency with it. And we're going to be announcing that later today, sometime before 11 a.m. Eastern time. And we're, we're excited yeah, about it. Time. We better say about it soon. I, I, I think we'll probably see the first alpha launch of it sometime next week. If all goes as planned, no promises there, but um, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to that. NFTs have been going pretty well on big cloud, you know, like we had the low and cloud punks. I mean, it's like, they sell so many every day. Uh, Clay Oglesby has been doing good. Illuminati, they have their new project. Cloud doll who I posted, made a long post about yesterday with all the rarities that I found in them. Cloud Dog has, I think it's 10 down, they're making 10 down, 10,000 Cloud Dog NFTs. And there are some that are like super rare, like less than five per thousand rarities. And then you can combine those rarities and get super rare dogs. It's really fun. I, Brian and I have purchased probably about 75 of them so far. And, you know, just NFTs in general, there's, um, like I've, I've been noticing uh, the secondary market as well, especially CloudPunk. CloudPunk secondary market sales have picked up a lot. I know Nigel Wallet has been selling a lot. Uh, he, he's been buying and selling CloudPunk and some others. Uh, it's been fun to watch. You know, well, well, one trend I've been noticing on some of these series is that they don't just put an auction up and take the highest bid after a certain amount of time. They basically take the first bidder. They set a price, say 15 or $45. And the first person you bid that get it, gets it right. So it's kind of a, it's a unique way of doing it. So it kind of makes people want to pay attention and see when these drops are so they can quickly get that first bid. In. Yeah. I, I kind of gave up on cloud punk because everybody, so many people are going to get the first bid that it's like, it's so hard to do it. I, I got a few in the beginning, but I can't, I haven't been able to get any recently. But yeah, like, like the NFTs, I, I think it's interesting because you see, you know, like there's a lot out there. And if you compare it to the regular NFT market outside of BitCloud, and you look at the history, like CryptoPunk, for example, they started out, nobody had any interest in them. Then there were some, was some interest, then that interest died out. And it like comes in these waves but the waves are getting higher and higher. And now crypto punks are selling for millions and millions of dollars. There's 10,000 of them are selling for millions. So who knows where, you know, cloud punk, cloud dog, the uh, rowdy reptilians are gonna be in five years from now. Nobody really can say, but you know, some, maybe it's worth the gamble, you know, like uh, that's, that's how I feel. Like I, I buy some and 
saying, I'm just going to hold on to it and see what happens in five years. Yeah. And this is an investment advice, but I think if BitClout's a resounding success in five years, I think some of these early series are going to be valuable. Uh, it just makes sense. Yeah. Like, remember, we're still in the, in the pre-launch. We're still before the relaunch. So these NFTs before the relaunch are probably going to, you know, be viewed in a different light than the NFTs that are in today after the relaunch. Who knows? I mean, that's just my guess. Yeah. But I, I, do we have anything else to talk about? I think that's probably I think it. That's it. Just one final shout out to Clay Oglesby. Uh, I think pay attention to NFTs, NFTZ, uh, that account. We're going to be, we're going to be lowering them down a reward later uh, today. And uh, you're supposed to give it away. Brian, Brian, you weren't supposed to give it away yet. Oh, oops. Yeah, so I'm going to be traveling to Chicago to starting tomorrow afternoon and through Sunday, but I'll still be trying to try and make these videos still. Yeah. All right. And I'll well, I think that's sitting here in my office. Yep. And I think that would be a great place to leave off for day 174 of our big platform.